Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, welcome back for a brand new video, hello if you're new here. So this is part two of the Spain vlogs, um, so make sure you've watched part one, it will be linked below. Um, so I really hope you enjoy part one. We are up fairly early-ish, I say early, I set my alarm at 8am, um, but I feel like that is early on holiday. So we're just about to go snorkelling, so we are doing this activity where we basically go out in a boat. And then tomorrow we're going to go see... Uh, the caves that are here um and then i don't know what we're doing the rest of the week yet yeah i really hope that you enjoy the rest of um the spain vlogs and make sure to give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you want to see more content like this hope you enjoy the little snorkeling adventure now back from our little snorkeling outing it was so much fun oh my god and the size of that jellyfish the biggest jellyfish i have ever seen in my life like that was insane we saw like three different types of jellyfish yeah it was so much fun i'd absolutely recommend doing that we booked it on um get your guide and it was through um i think it was like educare adventurer something like that i'm gonna close up these grates here um which is quite handy that we've got these it's like a security thing and then i shall show you the barbecue the kebabs have finished barbecuing but <laughs> dad said he's got like a big fish to put on there um but yeah we've just got like kebabs which here they have like i don't know if they have them in the uk but they've just got like boxes of ready-made kebabs which is really really handy um, but I'm gonna wait and get dad to um, bring the fish out. I think that's what he's doing now anyway. Looks very good. I do love a bit of seafood. Oh, the cat's back under the car. It's gotten a lot more friendly. I am going to get a drink and just chill out now. Oh, this is the book I'm reading. If you know, you know, it's so good so far. Here, yeah, I want a hibiscus flower. Just reminds me of Hawaii, even though I've never been there, but that's a bucket list place that I absolutely do want to go to. Anyway, we are off to the caves this morning. Um, the Ke... I'm going to say it wrong, but it's like Keva de Nerha. I do apologise um, for my mispronunciation. But we're just about to hop into the car and head over there. Um, so yeah, I'm going to bring you along. Hopefully it's a cool vibe over there. There's some like botanical gardens too. And my mum said something about a cactus garden and I love a cactus. But yeah, then I think we're gonna go to the beach and maybe go back to the town of Nerha, do some shopping to get some dinner later. We've not fully decided yet. We sort of just kind of go with the flow. Um, but yeah, I think my mum's actually driving today, which gives me a day off, which will be nice. I'm gonna drive it to the top of the lanes for her because it's like, I don't know if you can see over there, the, the, road but it sort of goes all the way up to the top and basically it's just a bit sketch really um if you meet another car and have to re reverse i'll pick the camera up again 
when we are at the caves. I'm just waiting for my brother and sister to hurry up and be ready. They're always the last ones ready, honestly. Maybe this is the entrance? Yeah. Oh, hang on, I've got it on my phone. I'm going down. Oh good, there's air conditioning down here. <laughs> Jokes. It's just really cold. Looks so cool. How does this work? Like, what are these things? Yeah, it just said no flash photography. And the man just watched me film, so I think we're okay. Really? Crazy. Maybe. Maybe we'll find out by the end of this trip. Oh my god. It doesn't look as good on the camera as it does in real life, I don't think. It looks huge. I don't think you can gauge how big it is on the camera. Wow. I wonder how far in it goes. It's like some kind of crack. But crack. I don't know, it looks like water. I don't think it's water. That is not water. Maybe not. Hang on, let me see if we can zoom. Okay, no. Yeah, do you think that's been built in or that's been formed like that? No. Yeah, there is. The perfectly oh. formed staircase has just been made. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Well, I don't know, I thought that might be really cool. Look at the size of that. It goes down very far. You can't really tell on the camera. Daisy, how are you enjoying your time in the cave? You caught me mid -drawn. <laughs> I am so sorry. I was saying this is like um, the Crudes. This would be like their manor house or something. A crude mansion. Here comes Jordan. I'm basically famous. Good view from up here. That must be Nerja over there. Like that city, town. And I think it was down there we were snorkeling because there's a beach down there. Down where? We're like down there. Like straight down. We had a cheeky pit stop. Got an Oreo ice cream sandwich. I never find these in the UK. I feel like the pine tree is um, exotic. Oh, it's a butter. This is cute. Little seating area and a pond. Also, my camera is flashing at me about to die, so I'm gonna just film until it gives up. There are fish in there. Oh my God. I think I just caught that on the camera. Yeah, oh my god, they're jumping. Oh, that's a frog. It was a frog. <gasps> no, I just saw one. There's frogs in here. I didn't I didn't see the oh, There we go. Did you see that? Yeah. The camera battery is charged and I am ready to go out. It looks like I'm naked, but I have a top on. Um we are just about to go out for dinner. When we got back from the caves and like the botanical gardens, we just threw ourselves in the pool. It was absolutely boiling hot today and on wednesday it's supposed to be 42 degrees which is going to be very intense but i just thought i would really quickly show you my outfit i've got this top on it's actually my sister's it's just like a brownie chocolate little bandeau top from i want to say bershka she got it the other day when we were in the mall and then i've got this skirt on from zara i've got my birkenstocks Hello, Birkenstocks on, just because they're really comfy to walk in. And then I've just got my like coach swinger bag with it because it just goes with everything and it's really cute and it, it's my favorite bag and I love it. So yeah, this is the full fit. My sister did my hair as well. She did it in like these two little um, braids, which I think is really cute. So yeah, this is the full vibe. I feel like I'm actually getting a bit of a tan. You can kind of see town lines going on so yeah i've just got to be careful this doesn't fall down but otherwise oh hey <laughs> i was just showing my uh outfit where's your oh matching tops <laughs> show us what you stacked in today i'm stacked in bershka yep so i've a spanish shop yep and my slides but i'm not gonna wear these i see vision and white indeed love it sliving do you want to show them your back do you want that on the internet <laughs> Oh it's very burnt. Let's have a squiz. Ooh. This is what happens when you don't put sun cream on. Well, I think Lesson is like, oh god, that looks so bad on there. She's keeping this covered the whole time, but 
Wear sunscreen, otherwise that happens. It's silly Billy. You think that's the name of it? Oh, it's on every page. <laughs> Listen, that's sass, please. This is our view of the restaurant. <laughs> Delightful. I don't know how I'd pronounce it. Crisscross. I think I'm gonna get the beef tenderloin. The pizza is cooling to me. I've got a Coke. Because I'm driving. But I do really want a strawberry deck. So there's that. I started cutting mine out before I realised I hadn't filmed it yet, but this is what I went for. Some kind of mashed potato steak mushroom thing. Daisy got her chair and pizza. This is Jordan's, Mum's, and Dad's, and some chips. Jordan's looks good. I'm gonna dig into this now. Um, I forgot to film this before I've eaten all of it. I think it's more than a bit shiny. Oh, my shoulders look a bit burnt in this. No, they're not. That's not good. Am I sweaty or just a light glow? Oh, no way. Look at the little lizard. Oh, it's so cute. Let's zoom in. <laughs> Cute. We've just finished our dinner and shopping. We've bought some things. Have you bought some things? I have bought some things. Yes, very nice. I'll um, I'll do a haul at some point. I haven't showed the other dress that I got yet. We're currently walking back to the car and we all have a light glow because it's still very warm out. Is this a cockroach or a cicada? We can't tell. Oh. Oh, it's going. It's going. It's disappearing into the oh, thing. No, oh yeah, it does look like a cockroach. Actually. That is a cockroach. Oh, right? let's move along then. <laughs> Disgusting. I literally thought it was a cicada. I thought I was filming a cicada in it. It turned out it was actually just a really large cockroach. Was it large? I don't know. It was a fairly, it was a decent size. Um, it is so busy around here. It's like Piccadilly Circus. Very busy. I think because the sun's gone down, it gets busier because it's a lot cooler to do shopping. Oh yeah, I'm still boiling hot, but it's definitely cooler than it was earlier. Why did we park the car? Down here. It is the next day from what you saw last night. We have decided that we are going to the mall again. One thing I would recommend if you are going on holiday is like a little Polaroid camera. Um, I just think it's so fun getting like little pics. This is me and my sister. I just think it's really fun getting little pictures um, like while you're out and about because you never know what they're going to turn out like. This isn't sponsored at all by the way although I do genuinely love like Instax and like Polaroid cameras and stuff. Um, I just think it's so fun. I've got like a little album at home and I love taking it on holiday and just having all those little memories. Before we head off to the mall I thought I'd really quickly show you my new dress. It's from Jack Wheels. I've got the classic, the coach swinger bag because it is the only bag I brought but it's also my favourite but this dress is really cute, it's got like a little cut out detail here, it's comfy and it's like sort of like a bodycon but it's got like a little bit of extra material. Let's try not get run over, oh. we're gonna let's go. We're back in our favourite place, we have arrived. I bought some stuff from Zara, I will do a haul when we get back. Sorry? That's cute. I like that. I like that. I wonder how much it is. Oh, it's got a pattern on the back. Summer... Oh, sunny flavour. 19... I don't know. 1995? I've got no idea. We're in Pull and Bear now and we're gonna go to Bershka in a sec, where I probably am gonna buy more stuff. This is cute. I like that. Definitely don't need any hoodies. I don't know why, I feel like the shops here are just better than the UK ones. But I'll do a haul when we get back to the villa. I'm like balancing the little tripod on my bed. Right, this is not working out. Right, let me get the book. That seems pretty stable. I thought I would just quickly do a um, haul of what I got. And also, that's my phone. I got stuff from Zara, Bershka, Pull and Bear and Mango. So the bits and pieces I picked up from the mall, these um, trousers from Zara, I picked these up in a size large. And I, I don't know if it's just me, but I find that the clothes here are a little bit cheaper than they are in the UK. I don't know, but these were only 29 95 
euros which works out at maybe like 25 26 pounds and they're just these like long length linen trousers i got a dress from zara as well which i think is gonna be so sick if you want to see any of these pieces like tried on and styled by the way head over to my instagram which i'll leave on the screen but i just got this like bandeau dress and it looks sick on i know it's like kind of a basic but i feel like everyone needs a basic black dress i got this in an extra large and it was uh 25.95 bear in mind this is all like euros in euro pricing but i just think it's absolutely stunning and it, it looks really beautiful on and it's a perfect length so i'm really happy that i picked that up and then the final thing that i got from zara is this swimsuit so it's in this like beautiful orangey colour. It looks on camera a lot brighter than it is in real life. I think it's a bit more of a muted orange in real life. So I got this in a medium. This was 27 95 And it's like a tie back. It goes over the shoulders. But it also has this halter neck. So it's like really adjustable. Now, mango. And this is what I bought to go with those kind of charcoal trousers. Is this... Um, kind of pink knitted top it was 15.99 and i did get it in an extra large which i really don't think the sizing is like i don't know an extra large for this and then this is from bershka it's literally just a brown bandeau top this was a size small and it was 7.99 and this was the exact same bandeau top that i had on uh i think it was last night when we went out for dinner it was my sister's so i just decided to get the same one because i really like it lastly this is from pull and bear i've got this really beautiful dress so it's kind of like a scoop neck and it goes down into like a maxi style and the back is almost kind of like a lower scoop cut it's like lower than the front if that makes sense but the straps are adjustable i got this in a size small and it was 17.99 and it looks really nice on i'm i'm usually not the biggest fan of like bodycon to be honest if i'm being real but this one just fits so good and i went for the small so it just really like hugs my figure and i am very happy with it so anyway that is like all the stuff that i got but yeah i think i might go and jump in the pool <laughs> Daisy and I are on dinner duties tonight and we have gone for a cheeky fajita. So we've got three of these kits. It was three for two. And there's also five of us. And then we've got a lot of random stuff in here. We've got a guacamole. Um, ah, that's what we need, not the cat food. We need Daisy's vegetarian chicken strips. Um, so we got we did buy some other bits oh i bought a nice coffee earlier i'm gonna have that now right i can't find them but we got some like aioli and some other bits for the fajitas but we need the onions and tomatoes and we did get a giant pepper somewhere where is that there it is there she is Tomatoes, onions. Let's trim these bad boys. Let's do on oh the yeah. power's gone out again. Right, we'll show you what. We've got a gigantic pepper up there if you'd like. Thank you. Is this a cooking show now? <laughs> no, I just thought it might be fun. Oh my god! <laughs> we've, got big, we've got bigger onions to fry right now. I think we might need to turn this down. <laughs> I'm just filming the final the product of our work, if you like. Reveal. Reveal yourself. <laughs> Very nice. 
dinner set up. What do you think? Looks lovely jubbly. Good morning. I thought I would just do a really, really quick update because we are just about to leave. Um, we had our fajitas last night, which were really nice. I thought I would just really quickly show you my outfit because I've got that swimsuit on from Zara that I was showing you in my like little hole. So I thought I'd just show you what it looks like on. This is the swimsuit. This is what it looks like at the back. Um, I don't think I'm gonna be able to show you very well. But it's just like a tie back. Um, yeah, it's really cute. I love the like little beads on it. So yeah, I love the colour as well. I feel like it's making me look really tan. And then these trousers are from Opoly. They're from the like petite section. They're kind of more like a low rise. The only issue with these, they are see-through. Like you can literally see the bottom of my swimsuit through them. But I've put this shirt on with it from Zara and it kind of like covers the see-through bit. It is a bit annoying and like I do love Opoly stuff but I think... These were around £50 and you sort of expect them to not be see-through. But to be fair, I don't think I've ever tried on a pair of linen trousers that weren't see-through. So if anyone has any good recommendations for white not see-through trousers, please let me know. But I just wanted to show my full outfit and I've just got my Birkenstocks on. Classic. These were such a good investment because they're so comfy. I literally wear them all the blooming time. But I need to go and get in the car. But I'll pick you up again when we are at the beach. We had a nice little snorkeling session. Ooh, I think I just stood on a crisp. Um, it was there was so much marine life down there where we went. It was really good. We had a lovely time. It is absolutely boiling hot today. Um, my on my dad's phone it said it's 41 degrees, which is absolutely insane. I'm a little bit red from today, which is really annoying. Um, I think even with like, it said the UV level was like extreme, it was like 11. So I think even with SPF on, it's like it's still getting through and I'll sat under an umbrella. So it's intense, but we are about to go out for dinner. Um, I thought I would just show you my new dress quick, because this is the one that I got from that boutique. Um, I've done my hair in like a little braid. It is a bit messy because it's still wet, but I've got my new little cross on. I don't know if I showed you that. That's the um, other bit of jewellery that I got. I've got my new earrings on. Um, so yeah, I thought I would just show you what I'm wearing. Um, this is like the top of it. Oh, you can really see my burn lines. And then the back is like the showstopper. So it's like twisted around the back. Um, and then it comes round and you like tie it at the front. I just think it's such a nice little black dress. Yeah, I've gone for no makeup because I'm already sweating, so I'm just gonna sweat it off basically. It's like a nice little glow though. Daisy, how are you enjoying your walk so far? Oh, uh, it's hot. It's very hot, isn't it? There's like a whole town here that we didn't know was here. He said to go past the shops. Yeah, I had no idea any of this was so close to us. Let me spin the camera around. We've got shops, whole nice looking 
street thing up there. Yeah. There's like a whole. Is this a focus? I can't tell if it's blurry. I think it is. Oh, I almost walked into the bags. Oh, that's intriguing. Yeah, there's like the whole situation. Yeah, it smells nice, doesn't it? Where do you think we're going? You said there was like some signs. Cool. Of course it's up here. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like walking up steep steps in 40 degree heat. Our car is like all the way, like down there. That's how far up we've come. But we are now at the garden restaurant. It's very nice in here though. Like the banana tree right behind you. Very nice. We're sat in the, is this the terrace bit? The upper terrace. Upper terrace. Why is it upper terrace though when we're lower? Yeah, why do people prefer to sit? Why is it upper terrace when we're lower down? No, he said. Yeah, but that looks like upper in there. It's very nice though. I see yourself here. I said I really don't mind. I've never been here before. Oh no. It is nice. I know, it's cool, isn't it? Do you like the carton of water? Oh, there's the Arabic spice. These are the drinks. I've gone for an espresso martini and a Fanta. Very nice. My favourite martini. No, not my favourite martini, my favourite cocktail. Yeah, do you like how it comes in a carton? It's quite cool, isn't it? It is, actually. It's very nice. Quite strong, but very good. <laughs> Refreshing. Do you like my triple park drinks? Look, my Ray. Espresso martini, orange Fanta, water. Triple park. I really like this, though. I'm really intrigued by it, actually. Focusing. That looks very good. Talk us through what you've got, please. Um, so good. Very nice. Looks very good. And I've gone for the burger. Jordan's also gone for the burger. It looks well good. Did you take your pick? Yeah. It looks a bit dark, but I've gone for the blondie brownie. Yes, thank you. The wind's nice, but it's hot. Isn't it? Daisy has also opted for the same thing. Indeed. How is it? This is a view from outside the restaurant. We were sat in this area here, down there. And this is the view, we're way up in the hills. Got a very nice cactus plant on the way out. I like these cactuses. Don't you think they look like cartoon cactus or something? I don't think they will. Touch it, find out. Wait, are you actually going to? Yeah. What, you're going to touch it? Don't. No, there's like thorns all over it. But it's definitely real. <laughs> <laughs> they just planted a fake cactus. These cobblestones are really slippery. I just slipped over. <laughs> no, not right over, but I did just slip. This is what we're walking down. I don't know why it's like looking a little bit blurry. I'm gonna have to play around with the camera settings. Do you think? I think my lens needs cleaning because I've been taking it to the beach. Yeah, but this is where we are. So this is. Oh, there are plants. That's cute. Oh, are you taking a picture? Yeah, of all of us. Of all of us? Yeah, quickly, like... Oh, okay, quick, because there's people. We're going through a wind tunnel right now. It's like so warm. Hot wind tunnel. Oh, what is that? Like, that's like, tells you your fortune. Does it? Let's go have a look. Kind of weird. That's kind of creepy. Weird, isn't it? Yeah. Does it give you a prize? I don't know. Oh, historic oh, spotlights. Oh my god, is it a fortune thing? Oh, it's a pen machine. They used to, to give you your fortune and then they'd give you like a little box, treasure box. The moor and his parrot. Kind of weird. Is there any more? Is there one on the other side? Very fucking weird. No. It looks like there was one and they closed it up. Very weird. Good afternoon. It is now the next day from when we went out for dinner last night. I haven't picked up the camera yet and it is like 1pm, I think. Um, also, I look naked, but I do have this swimsuit on, so I do have clothes on. Basically, my parents and 
brother have gone to the beach and me and my sister have decided to stay in the villa today just because we basically want to like chill out my camera battery is flashing at me again which is lovely but i just thought i'd show you my swimsuit really quick so it is from sheen and i did get it like years ago but i thought it would be a really good like tanning one i am a little bit burnt on my chest so i need to be really careful today um, but I thought I'd actually just go and show you the sunscreen that I'm using. So I'm going to just head outside and hope that my camera doesn't die. This is what I've been using. This is like the Bondi Sands Face SPF. And it is tinted, which I really like. And then I've got my Hawaiian Tropic SPF. I'm using Factor 30. But honestly, I think because the UV is so high, I need a 50. And then I use the Fox Tan Accelerate like Candy Oil. This doesn't have SPF in it, so I put it on over the top of this. But it just helps like kind of tan quicker. And then I've got my Malibu like lip balm, which is SPF 30, because my lips burn really easily. So that is really good to stop them burning so i really do look naked i promise oh that's slipping down a bit i promise i do have clothes on so yeah that's pretty much just what i've been using over the holiday um and i feel like i am getting a good good tan on it's our last day i can't believe we've already been here nearly two weeks like it's gone so fast but also really slow at the same time um i didn't end up picking the camera up last night as you would have seen um we literally just had a barbecue and we were just chilling but today for our final day, we were off to the beach. We're going to the first beach that we went to when we were here. And then tonight we are off for dinner. We're going to the garden restaurant again. We really liked it and it was a really nice vibe there. So we just wanted to go for somewhere that we knew was gonna be like really nice for our last evening. So yeah, that's what we're doing today. We are currently down at the beach. Um, I don't wanna film for too long because I'm worried about getting naked people in the shop. I think we're at the beach called Playa de Biriana or something like that. Definitely getting it wrong. We had a very pleasant final day at the beach. We didn't see any jellyfish this time, um, but there was lots of fish in there. You look really tan on here. What are you drinking there? Lemonade. I've got these uh, interesting tan lines going on here. I think it's where I've been wearing my swimsuit. I've got very intriguing tan lines. We're gonna go out for dinner tonight at the same restaurant we went to on Wednesday, the garden restaurant. So I just thought I'd show you my outfit really quickly as this will be the final outfit um, of the vlog. This top is a new one that I got from Bershka and the trousers are also new from Zara. They're like these linen ones, so they're so comfy. Um, these are what I showed you the other day in the little clothing haul. And then I've just got my Birkenstocks on again. I was going to end the vlog here. Sorry, I do have wet hair. I've literally just got out of the shower. So yeah, we've literally had the best time. I just wanted to say a really big thank you for watching, especially if you've made it to the end of part one and part two. I would really love it if you could give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. Again, thank you so, so much for watching. I really, really hope that you enjoyed and I will see you next time for a brand new video.